at the Qualcomm booth at Mobile World Congress 2017, and uh, who are you? My name is Jeff Gordon. I'm a manager of marketing at Qualcomm Technologies, and I'm here to talk about Snapdragon 835. And this right here is the 835. This is a, a reference phone that you have? It is. Uh, so it's 10 nanometers. Uh, this is the fastest ARM processor ever, right? This is, uh, well, the Snapdragon 835 is our fastest processor that we've designed to date. It is based on, like you said, the 10, 10 nanometer process. Uh, and we have built it focused on some core technologies, including uh, battery life, immersion, camera capture, connectivity, as well as security. And so what we're showing here in the booth this week is all related to these different pillars that the Snapdragon 835 excels at. So uh, it means uh, the most important thing about ARM is battery consumption also, right? Like one of those things is power efficiency. Correct. And that's a step up. So the Snapdragon 835 is designed to be up to 35% more efficient. We also have Quick Charge 4 enabled in there, which can charge up to 25, 20% 20, 20 faster than Quick Charge 3.0 and is up to 30% more efficient. So, uh, and, and then uh, this is a new way that you design the chip. The, the 810 was, uh, was ARM cores, the 820 is custom, and this, how do you call this one? So the Snapdragon 835 is semi-custom. It's based on ARM technology, but it is still our cryo, uh, cryo cores. So it's based on the cryo 280. So, uh, and then you have a new Adreno. So what's new with this new Adreno? So Adreno, uh, this one is our Adreno 540, which also, like you said, is new for the Snapdragon 835. And it is, uh, again, adding the numbers in there, it's up to 35% up to more efficient and uses up to 25% more powerful than the previous uh, Adreno 530. Can you claim that this is the best uh, GPU on any ARM device? Um, I can claim this is the best GPU that Qualcomm has put out to date. And uh, as you've seen, it, it does compare very well to uh, other technologies. So let's check here some of the examples that you're showing with the, the this is a, this is running on the GPU, um, this demo? So yeah, so what we're showing here are two demos based on visual processing. We're showing both of these on our reference design platform. We have, on the first one over here is gaming on our, uh, again, our Adreno 540 GPU. So this is a game called Random Mira Arena. And what you can see here is really how smooth the graphics are, how uh, vivid the colors, and how wide the gamut of colors is, as well as just all the detail you can see in this. If you're running around here, you can see the, the sun shining off the, uh, the puddles here. Uh, we gotta take care of this guy first. So let's keep, let's keep running around a bit. So we're really talking about uh, uh, home console uh, graphics quality in a phone. Yes. Yes. This is uh, nice. even better than uh, some of the consoles people have at home. It's a crazy it, it, amount of uh, graphics. Yes, it could be, it could be. And every time there's a new graphic chip, what? the jump is even more than the CPU, or you also uh, talk uh, about 35%? Well, it really is based, a lot of this is based on the process node. So as a reference, we went from 14 nanometers in the Snapdragon 820 to 10 nanometers with the 835. And with that reduction in the node, we've brought up efficiency, as well as uh, increased our uh, performance on that. When you do a new node like this, um, do you, do you want to, what's it called, make a smaller chip, or do you want to put more stuff on the same size chip usually? Well, we've actually managed to do both on the 835. So we've, we've really increased beyond just the processor itself. We have the platform, which involves more than uh, the GPU, the CPU, the DSP, to really involve uh, uh, the RF front end pieces, uh, more connectivity, fast charging, uh, lots of other software stacks that will all add up to the overall superior functionality of the 835. And this uh, tiny, uh, let's say beautiful chip, has a modem, which is also, everything is right there, right? Yes, so it is integrated, the X16 gigabit modem. So it is uh, the first to hit gigabit class speeds. It's on your t-shirt? It is on my t-shirt. Gigabit NV? So that means uh, uh, you're, you're in the forefront of the future of gigabit in your pocket. It's yes. crazy, like uh, gigabit. Yeah, it's... Uh, in the phone. We're going, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, fiber fiber quality speeds. And when you get even more bandwidth, you need the faster CPU to render all these higher things, the 4K, the, the more data, the more uh, cloud gaming, all kinds of stuff that yes. can happen. Yes, and we're talking, this is all, obviously we're talking about uh, Gigabit class LTE, 
if we also talk about Wi-Fi, we have multi-gigabit Wi-Fi availability to choose. So you're looking at uh, you know, super fast download speeds both via Wi-Fi and, and uh, 4G. And sometimes the bottleneck is the memory bandwidth. Are you talking about how you improve that? Well, it, uh, the A35 supports up to eight gigabits. So we're, uh, you know, we'll see devices that obviously can process a lot more simultaneously than we've seen in the past. In the past, it was was it half, or it's just been upgraded, just going up. All it's the just time. it's going up. All right. So and that's awesome. And um, I'm hoping to see some productivity features where you can uh, use this for uh, laptops, uh, running Windows 10, uh, x86 emulation, which which actually shown off and announced for the 835. On, uh, on yes, yeah, so we did. Obviously, you know, we announced 835 on Windows. So, so we, all we, the Windows support, perhaps Chrome OS. There's no announcement there, I guess. But correct. But uh, it'd be nice to see some uh, to connect this. This is connected to the display, right? This is actually uh, not connected to the display. It's no. running. It's running itself. Yeah. So we're just we're really comparing the the quality you can see in a display to what you can see on the device itself, which is equivalent, especially when you're looking at the HDR10 content. All right, so this is it. Now they have to ship all the HDR capable displays with super high brightness and everything. Just for that stuff. That's going to be the new phones. We're going to move nicer. Yes. Thanks.